Hey friends, in today's video I wanted to just give some encouragement to anyone who's feeling overwhelmed in homemaking or homeschooling or any of your roles and tasks as a mom, wife, and homemaker. I just wanted to give some encouragement because I know that we all get in slumps or places where we feel overwhelmed and like we just can't catch up or we can't get on top of things and that's normal. That happens. It's part of life, especially in transitional phases of life. And this week I was feeling, in today's video specifically, a little overwhelmed with things because we had just had company in town, which was so much fun, but I was behind on things. So I thought this would be the perfect time to make a video on this so I can remind myself of these things while also hopefully encouraging you in them as well. So I hope you enjoy today's video and that it would encourage you. So like I said, I think it's super normal to come across these seasons of life where we feel overwhelmed or just not on top of things in a certain area, but I want to encourage you to brainstorm and problem solve those areas of your life. What's causing you stress and feeling overwhelmed? Is it, you know, a certain area in your home that keeps getting messy or, you know, something that just ups your anxiety every time you look at it, or maybe it's figuring out your schedules and creating more structure or wherever the problem area is. Think about why it's a problem area and what things you can do to help aid yourself to be successful in that area and have it be less stress to you. So right now I am taking care of one of my problem areas, which has been our church bag. So there's that old Trader Joe's bag that just had a ton of Addison toys and it was way too many and we, when we would go to church and he would play with them, he would make a huge mess at church playing with all the toys because there was too many things in there um, and it was too much distraction. So I wanted to limit that down and get a few toys for him for church, but have it where it could fit in our book bag with our Bibles and our notes. And eventually I do want to get a bigger church bag that has like a bottle holder so we can just have one bag that we take to church and we don't have to lug all these separate things because my son obviously needs his like water cup and snacks and this bag won't have room for that. But I decrease the stress by getting rid of a whole bag of things and lessening the amount of toys that he has going to church. So when we're at church and he's doing his blanket time, and playing quietly he still has toys but he doesn't have like 10 of the same thing or like there was like 50 of those little what are those pipe cleaners in his bag he doesn't need 50 pipe cleaners so i think i put like five and just limited the amount of toys so there's less stress when we're at church and also less stress when we're packing up things for church i got rid of one less bag hopefully eventually i can limit us to you know, one bag that has his water bottle and snacks in it, um, plus our diaper bag, of course. But just think of your problem area, why it's a problem area, why it's stressing you out, and how you can manage it. Um, that's something that I've been really trying to do is systemizing the areas of my life that I feel like just stress me out or cause us to forget things when we're going places because we didn't pack all the things or just make life less convenient. I'm trying to problem solve those areas that I notice right now before we add the addition of one more kit because I'm sure that's gonna create a whole host of new problem areas that we have to problem solve and figure out. But yeah, that would be my encouragement to you guys is to not let the overwhelm or feeling behind and not on top of it feeling to make you feel defeated. Instead, go back to the drawing board, maybe brainstorm with your husband, do whatever you need to do, but figure out things that you can implement, systems that you can put in place that will make those things that are making you feel that way not make you feel so overwhelmed at least. Of course, there's always gonna be things that we probably feel a little behind on, especially when we are in the stage of having littles. 
but there's things that we can do to help aid ourselves in those areas. In a second, you guys are going to see that Addison is having a really rough night. He didn't take his second nap. We're transitioning to one nap right now because he had been rejecting his second nap for the past two weeks. So we're going back to the drawing board with his naps and we are reassessing the situation and trying to problem solve right now. But um, in today's video, yeah, as you can see, he was having a hard time. I eventually got him to relax and got him to play and loosen up for a bit. He just had to go to bed early. But I wanted to include this. Um, my life's not perfect. You know, put on some worship music if you're having a stressful evening or day with your kids. And just praise the Lord for all the things that he has given you. Praise him for the patience that he has instilled in you that you know the Holy Spirit has given you and ask him to help you walk out the patience that he has already given you but yeah my life's not perfect my family doesn't always look perfect I'm not raising a perfect kid I'm raising a kid that will hopefully grow to know and love the Lord and see that I love him but he has hard days and we have hard days and you know there's problem areas that I need to assess and they pop up like I will think I have everything so systemized and great and then a few months down the road I notice I'm stressed and I have to go back to the drawing board and figure out hey what is stressing me out and sometimes it might be me not prioritizing my relationship with the Lord enough and putting in the time for that or sometimes it's something simple like you know the church baskets that I showed you in today's video or you know, it might be something more stressful that's out of my control, like Addison's naps. I mean, it's not out of my control to put him down for one nap, but it's out of my control if he naps or not, or if he naps long enough and those kind of things. So um, just know that we are all going through this and seek wisdom from the Lord. Thank him, praise him in these hard seasons. I hope this video encouraged you and I hope the takeaway that you get from this video is I guess one of two two things um, one being that it's normal to feel overwhelmed in seasons but don't let that overwhelm stop you from seeking ways to help aid that um, whatever it is, whether you need to spend more time with the Lord in prayer or worshiping or if it's actual like systemizational things that you can do in your house, decluttering, getting rid of things. Maybe you just have too many things to take care of and if you minimize those things that you have to clean, you'll be less stressed. Whatever it is, don't let the overwhelm make you feel defeated and not be proactive about it. And then secondly, I just want you guys to know that it's totally normal. Um, I don't know what you guys think of my life, but I don't always feel like I'm on top of things. And I want you to know that, that I'm growing to you and I'm learning as I go. And I'm not the expert. I'm trying to learn and I'm trying to share with you guys what I'm learning. So those are the two takeaways that I want you guys to get from this video. I hope this video encouraged you. I also want to say not all my videos are going to be like this format. I know I did this with my last video. If you like it, that's awesome. Um, I will be doing more like this, hopefully. But if you don't like it, there's going to be other sitting talking videos like my old videos as well. Anyways, if you're still sticking around, thank you so much for watching. And I hope this video encouraged you guys. Like I said before, and I will see you guys next week. Alright, bye!